Hey y'all, hey y'all. Kind of late in the evening. It's not really late. It's only like 6.20 and y'all, I'm a hot mess. Y'all got to understand, I've been in the recliner for two weeks. Just had my total knee done. So this is my second or third time in the craft room, but I'm building up my time a little bit. So I thought while I was in here, I'd give it a go and come say hey to all you guys. You're going to see me kind of rearranging and fidgeting a little bit. I got to get my <laughs> my knee in a good position. Got my little leash down here to hold my foot in place. So when I get to about 10 people, somebody send me a comment. Let me know you're here. We'll get going. Miss Sabrina has already sent me one. Hey, perfect timing. All right. So listen, I haven't been on in a little while. Y'all know I had a total knee done. So still kind of struggling and recovering from it. But we seem to be doing a little better. Hopefully my cap behind the craft table back here isn't going to interfere with my camera stand. But we'll see what happens. Let me get me a sip of drink. Y'all came on so fast. I was so excited. But I'm blessed, 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 guys. I'm so glad y'all are here. Now, listen, I told y'all I'd be available for questions. And some of y'all have really taken... Ooh, look. Mm -mm. Y'all know, look, I might be blessed. Somebody made me this shirt that says, I'm blessed, y'all. But my hair is not. So, y'all gonna have... Please don't make no comments about my hair. I've been in the recliner for two weeks. <laughs> so, I'm not as cute as I probably could be. But, look, I did get some makeup on today. That's a miracle in itself. So let's see what we got going. Melissa says, hey. Somebody says, hope I'm doing well. That's Miss Janitra. So glad to see you and missed your face. I missed y'all's face. Y'all know I have missed y'all. Some people have been sending me some messages and I'm going to tell you, some days you catch me on a good day. Some days you catch me on a day where I have slept all day. Some days you catch me on a PT day where I'm going to kill my physical therapist when he leaves my house. Y'all look at this. It's still wet. I took a shower a while ago, so it's still kind of wet, and it is all over the place because I took it out of a bun. So y'all with long hair know where I'm coming from. But I promise I brushed my hair. Look, I can get my fingers through it. It's just a mess. But I am doing a little bit better. I am coming back slowly but surely. But I am coming on. I actually got several cups going in here. I'm not going to turn it and make y'all sick. But I got um, about six or seven tumblers going. I got to get them, get um, a couple of them that are on the table in there back in the mail tomorrow to a couple people. So, um, these others will be going out Monday because I let my stuff cure three days before I put it in the mail. I hope y'all do that too. But this is going to be kind of a question and answer setup time for y'all to ask me anything you got going on your mind. There's a couple people that I'm going to address while we're on here just because, oh, somebody says, hey, beautiful. Thank you, Miss Tammy. Hey, beautiful to you. Hey, Miss Andrea. So, I'm going to open up with a couple things that people have asked me, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to be working on kind of while we're doing it. I had a request for a hot pink cup. Don't know why people want me. Look, y'all, my hot pink has faded to this. This is all I've got left. So, I'm going to have to redo it. My family says no, but you know, I'm 51 years old. I kind of live by my own my own light, whatever I decide to do on a given day. And y'all, I'm in a raw, rolling chair. <laughs> and my leg is fighting me because it don't want to bend. So if y'all see me grab this blue strap, just know I'm trying to find a place under this craft table where I store my cups to put my foot while I do this tutorial so I can get that knee out there and get close to the table. But I have a hot pink 22-ounce um, fatty from Stainless Steel Depot that I'm going to be working on and talking about as we're doing the tutorial. And I'm going to show you what colors we're going to use so I can really focus on some of your questions that you've got going on, okay? Haven't watched me in a long time, Miss Kaylee says. Hey, LaDonna, we're, we're, we're back. We're slow. <laughs> I am not medicated. I did that just for y'all. Hey, Miss Kareen, I wanted to let y'all know that I am able to function without pain medicine at this point. I'm two weeks out, um, but I do take it at bedtime. So y'all are getting to see me in a little bit of pain, but we're going to get through this. I want to do this for you guys. My first thing is I'm going to show you what we're going to use so I can be working and talking on this cup at the same time while answering y'all's questions, okay? I did spray paint this cup. It's a neon or a fluorescent color from Home Depot or Lowe's. You can get them at Walmart. Just make sure you're getting the decent paint. If you're getting a 96 cent paint, you're probably, hey, Miss Christy, you're going to get a cheaper watery based paint. And if it's watery, you're going to have to use more coats to cover. This covered in about one, this is a personal cup. Um, somebody just wanted me to make one so they could see as an example. And I don't have a hot pink cup anymore. I gave my hot pink cup away to somebody. So this is going to be my personal cup, okay? Somebody is lighting me up. Oh, that's my Miss LaDonna. That is my girlfriend. Girlfriend, if y'all don't know Miss LaDonna, y'all need to be saying hey to her too. Because she's the creator of this group. She is an amazing, amazing lady if you do not know her personally. 
Um, but she's a wonderful lady. Somebody's going to say, what in the world is she doing while that cup's turning with that X-Acto knife? I have a couple little paint bubbles at the top that I want to go ahead and get rid of while this is spinning. So sometimes I'll take my X-Acto knife and just scrape across instead of sanding to create more dust and get those little tiny bubbles off the top. It's just on the rim, so it makes it smoother so my glitter doesn't stick up like this when I get it put on, okay? Um, let's see what everybody's saying. Hey, from Montgomery, Texas. All right, and is it Sawi? Hello from Belgium. Wow, welcome from Belgium. Hey, Miss Joyce, hey. All right, guys, so this is what we're doing. 22-ounce fatty came from Stainless Steel Depot. We have several vendors who are preferred vendors. One just posted tonight. She's doing a whole case. 30 ounce modern modern curve tumblers to our 50 um, K giveaway. So y'all need to walk a whole case of tumblers. Okay. It's listed at the top in announcements. Y'all check that out. You got to like her page. You got a comment done. And then when the 50 K drawing comes up, LaDonna will be letting us know when we're going to do it. We do those live and we've got prizes after prizes after prizes coming out guys. Okay. Somebody else is like me up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the hearts. Christy's saying, happy to see you. Christy, you've kept me alive the last two weeks with your lives, so I'm just trying to pay back and give you a little break. <laughs> okay? All right, Miss Sandra, I'm welcome. You're here. I'm glad, glad, glad. I haven't been able to see you in a good while. That's from Mr. Mitch. I'm glad you're here. All right, guys, so listen. We, get, we know what we got here. Tonight, y'all know I use 40 million people's glitters. I am not preferential to anybody's glitters. I do prefer quality glitters. Let me tell you a little secret in case you're new. I started out using Walmart Hobby Lobby glitters. Nothing wrong with them. They work. They serve a purpose. Please don't think I'm discrediting them because I used them in the beginning. That's all I used. Okay, it's all I could afford, really. But as I got going and as I learned different things, I realized that some of your quality glitters, same with alcohol inks. When y'all start doing alcohol inks, quality glitters, this is one of Christie's products, by the way, Sparkle Spirits. When you start using alcohol inks or you start using epoxy, you're going to notice that some of your better quality stuff, stuff that's going to be a little pricier, unfortunately, that's, of course, when you reevaluate the cost of your cups. If you're doing them for $25, God bless you. You're an amazing saint. But you're going to have, to make any type of profit, you'll have to go up on your cups. And I have seen some people pricing that, their cups at that. And you can do that for a wine tumbler um, because your cost is so low in the materials. But some of these bigger cups like that, there's no way I could sell this for $25. I'd make about $5 profit, if that much, okay? So just keep that in mind. As you get going and you get um, get get into learning more things, and that's what I hope you do here is learn just a few things from me, is quality products get you a lot further. So when I put this, I'll show you this cup for an example. This is a quality glitter cup, and when I say that, it came from a vendor, Okay. This is just my little take on a swirl. So I've got three different colors of purple. A darker purple, a lighter purple, and then the silver and opal mix in there. Okay, this is not finished by any means. I've sanded it. It's waiting for its next coat of epoxy. And of course, look at that precious rim. Oh my God. I'm going to show you how to clean a rim in case you've never caught me doing one. Because this has to be clean before I do my next coat of epoxy. Okay, quality glitter, but it took one coat. Have you ever done, and there's the bottom, have you ever done a cup and it took you like three coats of glitter or at least two coats of glitter? Okay, that's what we're, somebody's in the Cayman Islands. My goodness, Sharon, you need to be looking at the ocean and not me. Good gracious, I love. Well, welcome, welcome. Quality glitters cover in one coat, typically, okay? Now, I say that with this in mind. Y'all know I have learned a lot while I've been doing these cups. It's been a couple years. There are some people out there we will not mention any names. You have to kind of know your vendors. If you find a vendor you love, stick with your vendor. I have glitter from Childs and Childs. I have glitter from Southern Glitter. I have glitter from Mycomania for You. I have glitter from Glitzology. I have glitter from Hero Glitter. I got it all over the place, okay? So I stick to certain people, but I do buy anybody's glitter to give them a try. I like to promote small businesses, okay? But if you find somebody you like, do that. Because what I'm seeing now is these little companies are coming up here and popping up everywhere. And they're selling glitter. God, oh my, I mean, I'm telling you. It looks like I ain't running a brush through my hair. Um, that are buying Walmart glitters, Hobby Lobby glitters. Mixing a few of them up together and doing them as a custom mix. Selling them for $8 a bag. And they're not good glitters. Okay, so just 
Keep that in mind. Just use your brains about it, okay? I'm going to swipe to the left real quick. And I'm going to bring it back to the right. I think my comments froze up. Yep, there they go. All right, there's Miss Jennifer and Zach. I appreciate y'all here. Of course, Miss Green's here. All right. So let's get going. I'm going to show you what we're going to use in the Childs and Childs. And then I'm going to tell you about something interesting I saw as a comment on the page today. And I don't think a lot of people know that you can do this. I'm going to give y'all a really good tip about SVGs, PNGs, pictures that you want to put on a cup that you can't find anywhere. I'm going to tell you how to fix it. Okay? Somebody's going to not like the way I tell them to fix it, but I promise you it works. I have done it myself. So the, the people that want to hate on it, can just hate on it. But I'm going to give y'all some good information. Okay? So tonight I'm going to use Childs and Childs. Now to keep the glare off the cup tonight... I've got lights in the room, but I'm kind of working in the dark. So if I use, if I look like I can't see or I use my flashlight, just know that's what I'm doing because it looks really bright in here, but it's not. So this is Child's and Child's Glitter. It's all that's going on in this cup tonight. It's just because I really like their hot pinks doesn't mean that there's because there's nobody else is making them because I'm going to show you here. This is Micah Mania's hot pinks. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I used them on a cup the other day and I think I've already, did I put it in the mail? Now, that's when I did the half mica, half glitter. I wanted to see what it would do. Um, but I did mail a hot pink cup the other day. So, anyway, we're going to use Mica Mania for, excuse me, Childs and Childs Glitter, Freddie and Trevor. If you don't know them, maybe they'll pop in here in a minute. I'll tell y'all when they're on board. Hey, Miss Cindy, thank you. You're beautiful, too. I will let them know that we're doing their glitters again. They'll know when they see the bag. But this is Calypso, okay? I'm going to give you some light, but not too much to where it's a glare. I'm going to kind of go around the bag. Beautiful, beautiful hot pink. Does have some sparkle. I'm trying to get it close enough to the camera, but where it's not too fuzzy. Give you a little bit more light without blaring blar you. Okay, this is Calypso. This is Indus. I-N-D-U-S. I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Very pretty lighter pink. Has some chunky and also some fine and also some matte powder to it. So it's very pretty. Mixes in very, very nice. Okay. It's called Indus. I will take a picture of all these glitters, put it at the top of the live so you can kind of see what we started with, what we ended with, and the products we used will be listed at the top, okay? I will go back and do that. So if you miss these in the beginning, I may run through them once or twice, but I won't keep repeating myself because I know that gets on everybody's nerves. This is Pink Lady, another Childs and Childs. Beautiful, just gives you a little bit of an offset of color. You don't want all your colors to be the same, okay? We're going to use some different shades of pink. So let me hold them together so you can kind of get a feel. Okay, we're going to, and that one looks kind of peachy in the dark, but I promise it's pink. Okay, but you'll be able to see the shades as we get them on the cup. Okay, now I'm a infamous for throwing in an extra one just because I want to throw in an extra. I think too much pink will be too much pink and I want to offset it with a little silver or pearl or opal or something. And I decided to do something sparkly tonight, but this is Harmony. It's their Silver Chunky Mix. Beautiful. That was a really good shot there when it came around. Beautiful silver. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So I'm going to mix this on with those three colors. So it's probably going to be a four row color instead of a three. And then in a few little sprinkles, you're going to see a couple things. These are two of their bubbly. These are shapes that they have. And I'm going to bring it in close without... The, let me see if I can get it to zoom in. I hope you can see these. This is called Bubbly Tonic. It's got an iridescent. They're circles. Okay? Circle, hollow circles. They're beautiful, but they are holographic. I'm trying to get it to twist a little bit so you can see the holographicness to it. And then this is their Bubbly Cosmo. Same thing in a hot pink. Okay? No iridescent because it is colored. Okay? So we, what I have done is I've taken these two bubblies, I've mixed them together in a cup to give me a little, just a little something different. I don't know. I'm just different sometimes. But there's not going to be a lot of that, but it is going to give you just a little bit of a different shape. And I was going to see if I had a cup here still. And I'm looking, and I don't. I have mailed out a lot of cups, guys. But when you put those circles on there, it's really pretty. It draws your eye. I just sent one off to... Washington State, I think, is where I sent that one. Um, love the bubbly tonic. It makes a great accent. You're exactly right, Susan. It is beautiful when you put it on there, okay? So that's what we're working with. <clears throat> so I'm going to put these two bubblies back only because 
I've got them in a cup mixed together. These are the other four I'm going to use, or three if I decide to take one of those pinks out. We'll just see how it goes. Somebody's going to say, why'd you paint your cup pink when you're going to use the silver? Why'd you paint your cup pink at all? Why not paint it white? You can paint this cup white. You do not have to paint it pink. I painted it pink because I don't want anything peeking through. Somebody's going to say, well, I thought you were using specialty glitter. And quality glitter is not going to show through. It doesn't. But sometimes with Chunky, you'll have one spot. And I got one little chip on my paint. And I guarantee that'll be the one spot that will show through. But you might have a spot that's going to show through. Okay? So the only reason I do that is I try to base coat the color of my cup the same color of the glitter I'm using. So for this one, I did a base coat of purple. Yes, I have white and opal in there. But I did a purple base for that one. I'm trying to just show you a few I've got in here. For this one, I did a black base, okay? This was a little dark for that, but it turned out to look really pretty. But I chose a black, and then of course, I added something to my black glitter to get the, I don't even have a flashlight on, to get some sparkle to it, okay? All right, so that one looks dusty. It's been in here a minute, because I haven't been in here since yesterday, so I gotta clean all my cups off. But all right, so now y'all know what I'm using. As far as epoxies go tonight, let me tell you, I push everybody just off how to do glitters. I have counterculture DIY epoxy. I have artisan counterculture. I have fast suck counterculture. I have ALE. I have, I got everybody. Amazing clear cast is over in the corner. KS resin's over there. I've got everybody in here and I'm looking at about five or six bottles that I typically use. Let me tell y'all something. I have discovered I do different epoxies for different molds. I do epox a different epoxy for a certain type of cup I might be doing. It's just what I've learned kind of works better in certain different situations, okay? Hey, Sammy, I'm feeling pretty good. We're a little bit sore. I'm going to push on through this video so I can get y'all get y'all a couple questions answered and show y'all something I've been working on. But we're going to get through it, and I promise I'm not going to leave y'all deserted anyway, at least not tonight. So ALE is called A Little Extra. You'll see it listed on some pages where people are giving comments and they'll say ALE. That means a little extra. This is what their products, I'm trying to find everything because I usually try and share everything that I can with y'all in case you've used the product. If you're like me and you've tried a thousand and one products and you're not real sure if you've tried it. But their bottles used to look like this, okay? White Label is a plant-based product, okay? Super clear. I've had these bottles. These have actually been over here for a while. I forgot I'd ordered it. I have so much epoxy. It's really sad how much epoxy I have. I need to just start giving some away. But these are amazing. They come with the little caps. They send them to you extra outside of the lids that come with them. If you order like a 64 ounce or bigger. Super clear product, guys. Of course, this is your super thin one. And this is your thicker one. Um, doesn't like to be pulled. Works great in about any temperature. I, my house is 61 degrees. That's where it stays. So my house is super cold. In the wintertime, it stays super hot with a lot of fans going. So it likes heat too. So don't let me dissuade you in buying that because, hey, Erica, whoop, whoop, that's right. Um, and then these are their new bottles. Okay, it's just a little classier little look to them. They're black. I think they did the black just to kind of UV protect on top of the UV protecting it already has. But you can see I've had those bottles a while and the epoxy's still super clear, okay? Great, great prices on these. I think she has a discount code up right now, um, it, believe it or not. And if I can find it, because I just saw a post by her. No, she doesn't have a, a code. It's her birthday. It's her birthday. And she's having a huge sale. And I think it stops tonight at midnight. So A-L-E or a little extra incorporated, I-N-C. Okay, you'll find it. I think she's on Shopify, but it pops up if you type that in Google search bar. Just so you'll know, okay? Now, we're going to use her product as far as my epoxy goes tonight, okay? Just want y'all to see how clear it is, how easy it is to work with, how shiny it is. Bubbles, very minimal bubbles. Very minimal bubbles. What does happen is they'll rise to the top on their own and pop. Um, great for molds. I've had no problems doing molds and using ALE as far as the thickness and everything is consistent. There's no bubbles. There's no discoloration when it dries, so you don't have that milky look. Um, I've done some molds. Lately. I did some coasters just playing around with the grandkids, and I used a different epoxy. I wish I'd had. I might have one right here if I didn't drop them off. If I drop them, girls, I can't pick it up right now. <laughs> I just 
leave it down there. The only thing I don't have is one of them little pinchy hand things so I can pick stuff up off the floor. But we were playing at Halloween and they wanted to do like Halloween coasters and stuff. So the only thing I was finding was some of these some of these issues. This is that bubbly tonic put into something. So you can kind of see it's just an accent. And the kids were doing these, so these were fun. But they've got some milky spots up in the corners where we didn't get the glitter. And like I said, I was letting the kids play. But um, you might be able to see it better like this. This might blind you too, I don't know. Yeah, that's gonna blind you. But you can see some milky spots where the epoxy wasn't super clear. But ALE is very, very clear. Great for, great for molds, okay? Enough talk, let's get going. Now let me tell you, what is the heat tolerance? Works really good. You don't wanna blister it. You don't wanna add too much heat. But while I'm putting it on, you'll see me add a little bit of heat to smooth it out, just to spread it a little easier. Doesn't take much either. It's very good coverage. Um, works great for a flood coat, because if you do do a flood coat, it doesn't bubble up and leave, I know you know what I'm talking about, like sticky spots or those spots that look like it's got a big little hump to it. Um, I don't know the actual heat tolerance temperature, but it does work really, really good, okay? Charlene's wanting to know how I am. I'm doing good, Charlene. Thank you for asking. Hey, Miss Joy, I was just talking about y'all. Talking about your Glitzology glitter. Telling them how you got to deal with a quality product. Y'all, Miss Joy owns Glitzology. Um, she has some amazing glitters. I did a tutorial not long ago with her stuff. So, y'all keep her in mind when you're looking for a good company too, okay? All right. So, we're going to get started. And then I'm going to talk about what I saw on the page earlier today. So, while I'm getting ready, I'm going to start mixing some epoxy. And I'll be throwing information here, there, and the other when I see fit. But remember, your epoxy has to be measured 50-50. If you use 10 of this, you got to use 10 of the other. You can't use 8 and 5. It's going to leave your cup sticky later, okay? So use measuring cups. If you're eyeballing it, great. If you're using syringes, great. But whatever works for you. But I'm telling you, if you don't have it exactly 50-50, you're going to have a sticky cup in 6 to 8 hours, okay? All right. Will it be okay left in a hot car? If you're talking about the bottles... I would say I would not leave them out there long just because you don't want to leave any of your epoxy stuff out in the heat very long. It's the same with cups. When I give out a cup care card, I tell them not to leave their cup in the hot car. I don't know how hot it gets where y'all are, but in South Carolina, it can get up, you know, 100 degrees without the windows up. So if it's 132 degrees in your car and you leave your epoxy cup in there, I've never seen one get sticky, but I have seen it kind of crack them. And over time, it can kind of cloudy them a little bit. And I just don't want them to take that gamble. So I say, just don't take a, take, don't take one of your, I call them dress up cups. Don't take your dress up cup to work if you ain't taking it in. <laughs> leave it in the car. <laughs> I mean, leave it at home. Don't leave it in the car. Let me get my scissors. Y'all know I'm so discombobulated today. I told you I ain't been in here in a minute. I clipped these cups, but I haven't uh, clipped these tap, tap, tops. Sorry, clip these tops, but not enough for me, so I'm going to clip them a little bit more. Now, let me tell you what I saw on Facebook. On this page, somebody was asking for information about how to turn a beautiful picture, and I'm not going to say what it was, because I, well, I'll say what it was, because I'm not giving anybody a hard time. I want to tell you how to fix that picture. It's an American flag picture. It has three horses. So the one horse is sitting in the section where it has the stars and stripes. So it's kind of red and white. Beautiful. Next one's kind of sitting, and it, I think it's white and blue, and then the next one's red. I don't know how it is, but when you see the picture, it's, it's in the first 50 posts or so. Beautiful picture, but she was wanting to use it as an SVG. Now, my question would be, first of all, are you going to use this as a water slide? Do you want it on printable vinyl, or did you want it in black and white? My guess is you don't want it in black and white because it's such a pretty picture. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, she wants it for printable vinyl or a water slide, okay? Now, if you're going to use it for printable vinyl, all you got to do, and I hope everybody knows this, is basically take the picture that you're posting up, load it into your computer, into Cricut Design Space. I use Cricut Design Space, so if you use something different, I can't help you too much with that, Okay. But I load it into Cricut Design Space. And then um, when it gives me the option to clear up the background, this picture was super, super easy to clear. Or you can go to a website called Remove BG. B as in boy, G as in George. Okay? Remove BG. 
When you type that in, it's going to bring up this page and it's going to say upload photo. You upload the photo you want to remove the background in. When you upload it, it starts working and it produces a picture that's basically your picture with the checkerboard that you get from Cricut Design Space when you clean up a background. I hope everybody is following me and knows what I'm talking about. So remove BG removes the background for you. You won't have any blacks or grays. Now if it's a polka dotted picture, it's gonna have a hard time removing all that background, okay? Let's see what everybody said. I just ordered a sample bottle of the epoxy you recommended. I'm so excited. They are giving away, as long as supplies last, a little four ounce bottle of, let me see if I've got some. I think I've got some right here. I can show you what I'm talking about. They're giving these away, but you gotta pay shipping. Now shipping's like five bucks, but you get these free so you can try them, okay? Um, just keep that in mind. If you wanted to go ahead and order you a 32 ounce bottle, they've got a sale going on and I can't remember. I wanna say it's a 64 ounce kit. But if you order it, you get something free. And then you, can, if you've never used it, go ahead and order your um, free four-ounce samples. Give it a go. Just see how you like it, okay? So, back to the picture. You've done remove background, so then you're going to download it. It says download. So, you download it back to your phone or your computer. That's your picture. If you want to keep the background and put it into Cricut Design Space and do it yourself, you can do it that way also. If you want it for a water slide... It's the same thing. Some people are saying, I don't know how to take this picture and turn it into a water slide. But once you either remove the background through Remove BG, or you load it in Cricut Design Space and remove the background, and you print it on a piece of water slide or printable paper, your picture's there. And I don't know if people understood that or not. I was real concerned for her because I wanted to help her. I did not reach out because I knew I was going to do it in this live. And I did make a comment, but nobody really replied to it, so I didn't know if she already got her answer or not. But just keep in mind, guys, if y'all have a question about water slides, um, some people are going to say, what's the difference in an SVG and a PNG? I'm not going to give you the big words to confuse you. Typically, your SVGs are your smaller, like, black and white images that you can cut as a no-fill, meaning you cut it in vinyl, or you can cut it as a black and white image as a printable vinyl or a water slide. You can do it either way, but typically when I do a SVG, I use the SVGs to cut stuff out of my vinyl work, okay? I wish I had something to just kind of show you, but I don't. Um, if you have a PNG, PNG, big words, won't confuse you with the meanings of them, but they're typically your colored pictures that you're gonna wanna use for your water slides, your printable vinyl, cute, I won't say it, but the D word, the Disney word. But cute images that you want to use if you're giving away, we're just going to do that if you're giving away your cups, okay? We do not do trademark or copyright material on this page. That's another little thing I just want to share with y'all. I am an admin of the group. You can send me messages and all the other girls that are admins and creator, uh, the creator of the group, you send them messages. They're all super, super nice. But if you submit something that is Disney, trademark, or copyrighted, we cannot post it. And typically, we have gone back, especially Laura, she's real good about it. She'll go back and tell you, we cannot post these images. Please think we're not just being special and picking people out of the group that we don't want to post their pictures because we are nothing like that. We like seeing everybody's work. New, old, senior, been doing it 16 years, I don't care. Airbrushing, hand painting, we like it all. But if it's copyrighted, we got to be really careful, okay? All right, oh my gosh, I love ALE, and my favorite just ran out last night, ordering more tomorrow. You might want to check it tonight if you can, Miss Susan, because I know she's having a sale, and I don't know when it goes off, but just so you know that, okay? What's the websites for these? If you're talking about SVGs and PNGs, Robin, what I do is I go to Google Images, and I'll type in, we'll just do it this way, hearts. I want a picture of a heart, so I'll type in heart, SVG free. That doesn't mean you get it for free all the time. And what I mean that is, is this is where I'm going to get rebuttal from people. If I'm doing a cup as a giveaway, let's say tonight I do this cup and I decide I don't want it. And there's somebody that I've noticed in the group that's been working really hard or somebody who shared a lot or somebody that has sent me a couple messages or just, I got a little lady who did something for, I had a couple little ladies do something for me and I don't ask for nothing, but I got, like I got this shirt in the mail, look. It says I'm blessed, y'all. But if you feel like you want to give away a cup, to give away a cup or gift a cup, you're not charging for it. So you're not breaking a copyright, trademark, infringement because you're not retaining funds for something you're using. That's that's They do not want you to make money off of it, okay? So if I type in Google 
images and I type in hearts SVGs, it's going to bring up a lot of black and white hearts and hearts with arrows, all kinds of pictures. And you save that image. I usually email them to myself so I can do it on my laptop later. But I'll sit on my phone at the doctor's office and download all kinds of images that I like. I save them. Then I load them into Google or Cricut Design Space and use those. Now, if it gives you a background of where you need to track that picture, like somebody said, it comes up on Etsy and it says $4.99 for this image. To use that and to sell that, you need to backtrack the photo everywhere it goes to figure out how to purchase that image. Okay? It's the same with PNG. If I type in horses PNG, it's going to bring up all kinds of beautiful, colorful horses, just things that you can't imagine. And those are the ones you can save. Sometimes they already have the checkerboard behind it. Okay? All you see me doing right now is mixing super slowly. And y'all know I do not mix slowly. <laughs> but this is the ALE. It's a little bit cold because it's cold in the room. I want to add just a touch of heat so it'll mix together a little, a little better. But that's just a little trick for your pictures, guys. Okay? Google a lot of your images. Think of what you want to, what you're wanting to use and Google it. But type in SVG at the end or PNG and look at the images you come up with and see if you see a difference in what you've been typically finding. Okay? You can still order images off of Etsy. I've got one lady that I particularly order from a lot. I do design some of my own images. Um, I do make water slides for people. I have been very behind because of this surgery, and I apologize to those few people. Um, I need to actually get on there tonight because there's some that went out Tuesday. And um, I put the address and the return address and didn't put postage on it, but that would have been because somebody drove me to the post office and I was slightly medicated. So I apologize. They are coming. Um, they are coming. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have even taken orders during this time, and I did. And I, or I did prior to the surgery, so I apologize. So, guys, this is going to sit for about a minute or two. Let me see if I can get y'all a good picture. Super clear. Still got a few little bubbles in there you can see. Now, somebody's going to say, do wooden sticks cause bubbles? They can because they aerate the epoxy. As you're going through, they got little micro holes. They can. Do you use anything different? I use metal stirs, okay? I use silicone stirs. I use these little sticks you get sometimes. When you order from Mycomania, you'll get these other little sticks. And I think I've used all of those up. But um, any type of stick to stir is fine. It's the... It's how fast you stir it, how long you let it sit. If your stuff is super thick and has a ton of bubbles and you're scared to use it and it's not a fast set epoxy, you can set it in a warm dish of warm water and just let it kind of float and let that get warm and then you can mix it better and some of those bubbles rise to the top a little faster, okay? Can withstand up to 300 degrees on the website now looking at it. That's awesome. So I guess you could leave it in the car. I just, I'm scared, y'all. I've got, I go to craft store, uh, craft fairs a lot, or used to before the surgery, and I never leave my cups in the car, like, till the next day. I always bring them ever, in every night. My husband's like, why don't you just leave that big old box of cups in the car? And I'm like, because these are my babies. I don't want to leave them out there in the car. What if they get too hot and get messed up? You can't sell product if it's messed up. I wouldn't want to buy something somebody didn't take care of. But anyway, if it says 300, then that's good, Okay. Let's see what we got. You don't wear a mask. Alexis is asking if I wear a mask, and I'll be honest. Pumpkin, get out from under my feet. My dogs like to come in here in the craft room. They think they're trying to make cups, too. I have one and a half lungs. <clears throat> I had an injury about 10, actually 11 years ago, and um, I lost part of my lung on the right side. So I do not wear a mask when I use epoxy. To be honest, it smells like peanut butter. It doesn't really have a smell when it starts to go through its chemical reaction. Some of these epoxies can be super strong. They put off a actual fee of, uh, you can see it. It's like a mild smoke sometimes on some of these epoxies. This does not do that. Even when it's mixing, it doesn't have that smell. Um, I think that's why I kind of really like it. Some of them can be harsh. Some of them are so-so. Okay, but I don't wear a mask. That's a personal preference. Please do what you feel is best for you. A lot of people have allergic reactions to this epoxy. A lot of, please quit. My cat's back there playing too. Um, a lot of people have allergic reactions to epoxy. So if you're unsure about something, you may want to wear a mask the first few times. You may want to wear a mask all the time. So just do what works for you, okay? Please. 
just been hesitant to use it because it says it's dangerous and only for animals it's dangerous. Is that true? If it says it is, then it probably is. I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, I've got a cat and three dogs in here with me. In the other side of the house, I've got two rabbits, two ferrets, a bird. <laughs> If you know me, you know I got a house full of animals. But anyway, I used to do cups in my kitchen in my old house. So I got blessed with a room that I can do crafts in now. So, so far, none of my animals have had anything happen to them. But I keep a fan back here blowing. I do have a, um, what do you call these things? The air purifiers in here also. So I have a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go and put some epoxy on here, guys. Now look. I don't know if you can see how minimal I'm putting on here. You can put epoxy on any way you want. If you want to do it the way I'm doing it, great. If you want to dip your fingers in it, that's great. If you want to go back and add. Now, remember, I'm using glitters. I still got a ton of epoxy in there. I hope you can see that. But I'm going to see what I can get with this. I want to see how far this will spread. Because my goal with a glitter cup is I always want to use very little epoxy and a lot of glitter. If you're new to this, you know I say this a thousand and one times, so it's very repetitive, and I'm sorry for those of you who have watched me, but if you use a lot of epoxy on a cup, and then you have to put glitter on it, have you ever had a cup, and I wish, I, I got one over here with sand. I'm going to show you something that happened with epoxy and sand. So, if you have a lot, now I don't know if anybody saw how much epoxy I had on this cup before I started spreading, but that is done. That's how easy this ALE spreads. I got a couple little spots I need to hit once more. Just with my finger, not with heat. And then I'll go back and get a few little bubbles I see, okay? I'm going to turn this up real quick. It's going to be glaring for you just for a minute. Let me just see what I got going on. Putting a tiny touch on my finger and letting it drip off. So I can do the bottom. I personally glitter the bottom of all my cups. I used to tape them when I first started, tape the top and the bottom, but now I glitter everything. I just feel like people need to get what they pay for, and, and it took me a while to figure out how to do it. I'm going to keep it real with you, okay? Um, I didn't always glitter the bottom because I didn't know how. It took me a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of watching people, and then one day just saying, all right, it takes 75 cents to a dollar to strip a cup. So I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for it, see how it works out. And if it works, great. And if it doesn't, I'll just strip the cup and do it again. So guys, this cup is covered. I'm just looking to make sure I don't have any spots that did not cover with epoxy. If you don't have epoxy somewhere, you're not going to have glitter somewhere. Okay? So it's real important just to look for a few spots that you may not have covered very well. But y'all, this took... Let me see if I can get this. That's an old stick. I don't know what I did with my other sticks. I'm going to show you. See if you can see. Y'all see how much epoxy's left in here? I don't want to spray it everywhere. There's a ton of epoxy in here. Like a ton. Okay? I didn't want to use it all, but I didn't want to run out. I like to mix it and set it in the corner with a stick in it. So you can kind of see what it does in a few minutes. I'm going to heat this up. Not because I need it to be hot when I apply the glitter. But because I want all the bubbles gone. All the micro bubbles are not going to matter. Please don't try and cover all the micro bubbles or get pop all the micro bubbles because the micro bubbles will cover with the glitter. All I'm trying to do is pop anything that's huge that may lift my glitter a little bit, okay? I remember I'm working with minimal light, so I'm going to find my flashlight again. I say that, and I think that's what I dropped all again. So let me get this other one. I always have a flashlight that I can use. Just want to make sure everything's covered. I have no spots that have no coverage, okay? All right, now we're going to get started and we're going to answer some more questions. 100% acetone, wrap it in a paper towel and put it in a Ziploc bag for about 24 hours and you're done. You're exactly right, Miss Miss Akita. Sometimes I'll even wrap tinfoil around the paper towel before I put it in the Ziploc bag if I don't think I can get back to it in the morning. If I think it's going to be more mid-afternoon before I can get to it, I'll wrap that temple around it just to kind of hold in the moisture so it doesn't evaporate. That's not evaporates, but you do, you can skip the, the temple part, okay? Hey, beautiful. Hey, Christine. All right, first time watching, can you use a blow dryer? Yes, ma'am. I started out using a hair dryer. You can use a hair dryer. Um, I've got this heat gun. You can use heat, um, torches. You can use whatever you want. Torches, some people really, really like. 
because it's a higher heat and it works faster and you have to add minimal minimal heat but it's whatever you want you can get this i got this one off of hero glitter with miss ladonna but there's different ones you can get them at walmart that's one i got from walmart it just depends on what you want you use whatever works for you don't go out and invest a ton of money on this stuff guys because what will happen is invest in just experimenting and getting to know your cups this is going to be a whole lot of light but i'm trying to at least give me some so i can see what i'm doing when i do the glitter okay how do you get your cup where do you get your cups from I'm searching the cups, but can't find it here in Belgium. Now, that is a good question. I am very unsure. The lady who I've been getting them from, I usually use Stainless Steel Depot. It's one word. Um, you can Google it to see if they deliver out of the country, because I am in the U.S. The lady that I've been buying from, who was probably two and a half hours from me, she's going to be doing a big giveaway with us when we do our 50K giveaway. She's about two hours from me, and she's got a very good supply. There's Y&D Tumblers, which is Miss Yvonne. She's another one of our admins, and she owns Micah Mania. She has a tumbler um, company also. You might could check with her. I don't know if she ships out of the country, though, so I apologize. Okay? I've got you on silent. I know a little bit of sign language. I'm not playing either, now. Y'all don't think I'm being facetious. I can do the alphabet and ABCs, like, in sign language. <laughs> I can sign language you some stuff, all right? Love this shirt she made for you. You are blessed. I am blessed, Miss Rose. I thought it was so sweet. I said I'm going to wear it tonight. It actually matches my pants. Not that I care what it look like right now. All right, guys. So, listen. This is, of course, my clip. So, we're going to keep talking. I'm going to keep looking at your questions, okay? What is the name of the cups in South Carolina? Oh, my Lord. You would ask me. I'm going to post it at the top because I don't want to quote it wrong. It's Southern something. And I just talked to her, and I should know better. And she's going to be mad at me because I didn't say it during this live. But she is, when you first come on our page, it's going to be right there at the top. It's in announcements. It'll pop up the first thing as you scroll. She just posted it today that she was giving away a whole case of 30-ounce modern curves. I will post it at the top, Miss Susan, as soon as I'm done, I promise. You'll see at the top all these glitters and the epoxy I use, and you'll see those, those web pages that I talked about, Okay. And Child's and Child's Glitter is what we're using. So listen, we got a darker cup, and we're going to use this bright pink glitter. You may not be able to see a huge difference. If this is too much glare, I want somebody to come on here and say the, the lamp is not working for me. Now, that's way too much glare, I can tell. But if this is too much glare on the cup, somebody send me a message. But that's just so I can see a little better. Okay. How do you seal the top and the bottom? We're going to kind of talk about that, and then I'm going to clean the rim of this other cup, and then I'm going to let you guys go after that, okay? But as far as sealing, you always do your epoxy. You'll do another coat of epoxy over top of this because there's chunky. And you're going to make sure you go over and round over top of this so that it covers. But you are going to cut that to get your chunky glitter off the top like I'm going to do on this purple one you can't see behind, but I'm going to pull it up here in a minute. We're going to clean that rim, but there's going to be another coat of epoxy. The last one goes over top of that to seal it in. Okay? All right. I hope that helps. All right. We're going to get going. This is kind of a fast process. It's going to look crazy. It's going to look like I don't know what I'm doing, but I promise it all comes together in the end. You're going to find just a destination you want to stop and somewhere you want to start and stop. Okay? And this is going to be kind of at an angle. I'm left-handed, which makes it very awkward for me anyway. But I usually get it to the edge and I just take a gamble. You'll see me dot some. It's not going to be perfect, but you'll see me. And if I miss it and I think I'm going to mess it up, I'll wait for it to come back around, okay? This epoxy sets up in six hours. This is not a fast set. I do not, that was a lot of glitter right there, but it's going to be all right. I promise it'll all come together. Some of it's going to wash off. Some of it's going to blend in. Somebody's going to say, oh my God, you see what she just did. Quit pumpkin. My dogs are going crazy behind me. Now I'm going to show you something, but we're going to leave it wet now that I got my lines kind of started. Can you see how very super, super, you can't see a thing. All right. Let's try that. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'm going to rely on you guys to tell me, okay? This glitter is super, super wet looking. The reason it's wet is it's not enough glitter. You're going to have to keep, now you can't see that either. You're going to have to keep adding glitter until it's dry okay 
right, Southern, there she is. Southern Palmetto Stainless Steel Tumblers and Supplies. Thank you, Miss Kathy. And I apologize, that was a lot of, lot of words to remember right now. And some days I have a hard time remembering my name. But I, I do have her on my messenger, so I know exactly how to find her when I need her. I don't know if y'all do that, but I'll save and send stuff to my messenger so I remember some of these good groups. I'll find their little links, and then I'll go back and add their links to my messenger. So when I get ready to order, all I got to do is go on messenger and open it up. All right, I missed that top. We're going to go back and catch that one. Where it's still super wet, you see that big glob that I missed? See, I'm not worried about that because I'm going to be adding more glitter right there okay and it's going to cover that up and kind of stick over top this doesn't look like it's showing at all because the bottom of the cup is that hot pink but i promise you it'll look really pretty when we get going i'm gonna put this here always remember to get your glitter up okay <clears throat> you can while we're doing this for sake of doing it later and i don't forget take this glitter however you do your bottoms and I usually find the end of where I started, and I just sprinkle some to the bottom of it. Tilt my paper just a little bit. I hope you can see that. And I just hit it in certain spots where it looks like I have kind of run my diagonal line over the top. Okay? That way, your bottom has coverage, and it looks really good, too. So I'm going to put the rest of this in my bag. And, of course, i got some here, so I'm going to swap that back out. And then we'll do the next color. I think I've got that thick enough, but I don't want it completely covered quite yet. Because you remember, I've got that real pretty bubbly, the bubbly Cosmo and the bubbly tonic that I want to make sure gets on here, okay? So this is my next color. This is Pink Lady. This is a lighter color because I'm going to go lighter and then back to the other. It's kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Almost like you're going to do an ombre but you're doing it diagonal, okay? You can see I missed that chance there because I didn't have my glitter at the edge. And if you get it dotted, that's fine. All you're doing is trying to establish some sort of a line where you're going to go with this glitter, okay? I can do it this way now because I want the line to be a little wider because you want it to take up a good bit of space so that you're only using the three or possibly four glitters, okay? Can I put this in a cup and use? Absolutely. Um, I don't have to use it in the bag. Matter of fact, I may do that just because this doesn't seem to be working for me. And you can do this mid-making a cut. So don't ever feel like you can't change anything up, guys, as you're going. I'm not liking the way that's coming out. I feel less controlled. So we're just going to swap out. Okay, it was good before you moved it. I am so sorry. Somebody was saying it was good before I moved it. All right, we'll see if that works okay. If it doesn't, I know somebody's going to let me know, okay? See, that looks a lot better. That goes on a whole lot smoother. I have a lot more control. Remember, the reason I'm working frontwards to backwards is because everywhere I put glitter, it's going to roll off this dry spot. Does that make sense? So where I'm rolling, I'm doing it away from me so it rolls off the other layer where it's pretty dry, okay? I'm going to add a little bit more here. I want a little bit more here. Tell me somebody in comments. I'm going to look back up here in a second and see if everybody can see the cup okay. If you're starting to see the color variations or not. Let's see what we got. Light looks good now. All right. I'm sorry about that, Shelly. I'm sorry I messed it up for you. I was just, I like to try and see because it is really, <laughs> you wouldn't think it's dark in here, but I promise you it's dark. I was going to put a little bit of this prettier color on the bottom. Remember to always love on the bottom of your cups if you're not taping them. And what I'm doing now is just angling it, trying to get down here to the bottom to give that. I'm going to get some right there. Sometimes you got to wait for it to come around. Put the rest in there. Swap it back out. Now I'm going to do the bubblies, the little circles, because the last color I'm going to do is that other real pretty pink. So now I'm going to do the bubbly tonic. If you remember, it was the bubbly Cosmo and the bubbly tonic little circles, okay? And they're going to go right here. Let me find me a good spot to get going. I'll start right here. You're going to see how pretty this is because it's going to offset. Some of them are going to fall off. They are not going to stick, and that's going to be fine. They're going to really make a rim for me. But they make such a pretty accent. 
I think my husband's home in the other room. I'm not real sure. But he's probably going to be angry because I have come to the craft room to play. <laughs> Sometimes, guys, y'all got to come to the craft room to play. Y'all know what I'm talking about? You just got to. All right, a little bit more here. Now, I hope y'all can see these circles. These circles are so much fun. They are so much fun, y'all. I'm going to put a few on the bottom. Somebody's going to be like, why are you going to put them on the bottom? Ain't nobody going to see the bottom. Because you decorate in the bottom of your cup. And I've got a couple wet spots still left. And it is in a cup, so it's a little harder to get on there. So I'm going to bump it on there. That looks so cute. So cute. Okay. I didn't pour that light pink back in the bag. I put it in a cup. So we'll fix that one too. I still got a few on my second page there. I'm going to stick this one back in here. This was that real pretty light pink. I put it in a cup instead. Now, we got a lot of pink on here. So, I'm going to let to go with the silver. I want to do some offset. I've got that light pink on there, but I really want to get some of the silver on here to get you a color difference. And I may, may do a little bit more light. If y'all hear that noise in the background, I promise you, it's nothing but my dog's scratching at everything because if they can't smell me they are not living they think okay we'll put some more in this cup i like the way the control was better with the cup this is silver it's called harmony it's by childs and childs okay i'm gonna find my next little gap that i want to go to as i'm patting down a few little things all right and here is my pretty silver spot this is really pretty and there should have been two little spots. This is going to be my wider spot. What we, what I would call kind of the front of my cup, so to speak. And I just got one more little spot I need to put right there. Okay. I'm going to put a few more bubbles there. I'm going to make sure some of this gets on the bottom of my cup when I get it back around here in a minute. And then I'm going to put a few more bubblies there. And then I'm going to have to go back to that dark this dark color because I see a few spots that look really, really wet. Okay? All right. I want a cup from you, Sandra says. Honey, I'll make you a cup anytime you want. Doesn't the silver look really pretty? It really kind of offsets everything. I want to get this bubbly down in this spot right here. That's where I wanted to put it. I need a little bit of bubbly there. You just have to find your spots, guys, okay? And like I said, there is no planning on this cup, obviously. Look where I put the glitter. The glitter is everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Make you a cup that is just fun. Put stuff where you want to put it. But it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. But believe me, people are going to like it better. Because, like, I look at my cups like I've just fell in love with them. I'm just like, oh, they're so pretty. <laughs> Y'all know I'm special anyway. I'm going to put a few bubblies right here at the bottom rim. I just got a couple little white spots. But these bubbles and this silver is gorgeous. Now, let me save this. I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of that dark purple, and then I'm going to fill the rest of that silver in one more time. Matter of fact, I'm going to do the silver now while I got it out. Screw going back. We'll just get it done. Get her done now, okay? Come right down my line. Make sure it's not wet. Get a little bit on my bottom. Anywhere that might still be wet. There's still a few little spots that are wet. You got to get all those colors. Yeah, that sounds like my husband. Get a couple silver dots down there. That looks gorgeous. I wish y'all could see this. I will be taking pictures so you can see the cup afterwards. So you're not missing out on anything. Now look, on this one I forgot to pick up my pink, my pink circles. So I got to put this in another cup. I can use it on something and trust me I will. But don't put that back in your bag. It'll mess up your bag because you got pink dots in there. But I've got a little cup of extra mix, okay? All right. So I got a little spot that I need to add a little bit more of this dark glitter. And this cup is done all but patting it down. I'm going to show you my trick to patting it. And then we're done, guys. Okay? I talked to you about the PNGs that I wanted to. Google Images where you can find image pictures that you would want to use for your cups. Um, I've talked about how to save them, how to remove a background. What else did I want to tell you guys about? Right now, all I'm doing is hitting the wet spots that have super dark pink. So that my cup isn't shiny. And I was going to show you on this beach tumbler over there. What it'll look like if you've got too much epoxy and too little glitter. So let me show you that here in just a second. 
Now I've got a really dark spot right there. Not real crazy about it. I don't feel like I need, I feel like I need another stripe of silver on here. But I do have a real broad stripe of the bubbly right here that's very pretty. Um, so, let me think how I'm going to fix this real quick. There are ways you can play around. And like I said, if I don't like this cup when I'm done, all I got to do is go back and strip it and do it again. I'll lose a little bit of material. Now, I have nothing on my fingers. Somebody's going to say, how do you do your chunky? I just kind of pat it as it's going, and I do it with no glove. The reason I do it with no glove is I want to feel if it's sticky or wet. If it's wet, it's letting me know it's a little wet down there in the silver because I got a little bit of off on my fingers, okay? Just make sure you kind of clean your fingers off and go back towards the pink. See how your pink feels. Pat down your bubblies. Okay, that kind of gives you an idea of what you need to do. Now, I love the silver on here. And I really want to put a small line of silver right here. And somebody's going to say, I know she's not fixing to do what I think she's fixing to do, but I am. And I've done it before, and it turns out very, it's fine. Okay? So don't freak out on me. Is it going to be mounded? It will not. It'll settle over time. And then by the time I get to my third coat and final coat of epoxy, all this will be one, one um, depthness. It won't have a big hump. But you see my silver coat, and I really like it, but I love this bubbly coat. So I'm going to put a small, very small, little bit of epoxy going down this line. Somebody's going to say, I can't believe she's doing it, and sometimes I can't believe I do it either. But I'm going to go right here. Is it going to be a very big line? Nope. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it drip down the cup just a little bit. I'm going to kind of touch it with my stick. There's nothing else going in this epoxy, and I'm not going to do this again, okay? It's starting to drip a little bit exactly where I want it to be because I want the silver line to be a little bit wider. You can do this. I mean, it's obvious you can because I'm doing it. Is it going to be a mess? No. And it, like I said, if you don't like it, just strip it. All right, quick, girls. I'm about halfway done, and we're going to lay some silver down and see if that silver looks better. You see I'm rubbing it. I'm not just pouring it on there, okay? You want this to be kind of strategic. It's going to be a little more epoxy than you normally would have wanted to use because you're putting it on there intentionally and you're not just leaving a small little space. But I want a little bit more right here, and I'm done. Now, I'm going to let that spin for a second and get it a little bit wider right here. I don't know if you all can see that. I did miss a little spot, though. Right there at the top. Okay. All right, there's my silver I had in my cup. I want to get this pink up first. I about poured it on top of it and had me some more custom mix left. I'm going to pour this back in its bag, and then I'm going to pour that silver on there. I really like the way the silver pops. I think the silver is gorgeous, and I just think it's going to look really, really pretty. Um, that one stripe looks gorgeous, so I'm going to give us another stripe, okay? How are you feeling? Healing good? I am, Miss Amy. Thank you. This one will be on replay. Missed some of it. Yes, ma'am. You'll be able to find it. If you can't find it right off the bat, go to the top search bar and type in Bridget Hicks Reese, and it'll pop up all my tutorials. Uh, they do convert over to YouTube, but they are the same exact ones, but you find me on YouTube as Bridget Reese. There's nothing new on YouTube that I don't have on this page. I just try to Make sure people see the videos, and sometimes you can't find them, okay? All I'm doing is giving myself another little silver streak right here. It's not going to be as wide. They always don't have to be um, perfect in measurement, but I put them right against this bubbly tonic, and it's really cute. I don't think my husband knows I've been on live. He'll come in here in a minute, though. Maybe if he sees the door shut, he won't. What y'all think? All right, can y'all see that second line of silver? I hope you can see that. Okay, I'm going to slide y'all over. Just love watching you learn so, so much. Not be afraid. That's the biggest thing, guys. Look, I'm not saying that that looks perfect. I got this big two-inch stripe right here, and I got a little half-inch stripe right here. I'm going to watch it and just see how it looks. Give it a minute to settle in, and I might put a little bit more on it. But y'all, just play. This is supposed to be fun and relaxing. And there's sometimes I do some stuff, and I'm like, now why would I do that? 
Why did I do that? I made this beach tumbler the other day. And I have a specific way I do my beach tumblers. I've always done them the same way. But I was playing the other day. Summer's over. It's obvious. It's November. Okay? But I wanted to play with some. And I was doing something. Now look. I know you can see where this is wet. This is where I had... At the top, you can see where it's wet looking. So that was too little sand, too much epoxy. But this is real beach sand, okay? So that's just real. I just playing around. I mean, just play, guys. Have a good time. If you mess up, you can always fix it. Nothing can't not be fixed. And if it can't be fixed, strip it and start again. That's what I say. I'll lose some money in material, but it'll cost me 75 cent in acetone to clean it up. You know? I love it. I like that. You got the big thick line, you got that one little line, and you got all that bubbly tonic right to that right beside it. I think it looks really good. I really like it a lot. Okay, pour this back in the bag. I'm going to show you how to clean this rim. And I'm going to let y'all off because my husband's home and he's going to want to eat. He's not seen me all day. If he knows how long I've been in here, he might get angry with me because my knee is starting to get a little bit sore. Okay? I can't keep it bent for too, too long, but I do want to show y'all this. Let's see what we got. It looks good. The wet sand looks cool, too. Thank you. All right, so what I do, you can do this any way you want to. I use an X-Acto knife. I have a certain X-Acto knife I use for cleaning and playing, and I have an X-Acto knife that I use for true cutting my vinyl and stuff. So don't use the same one, because this one will be duller, okay? Um, you don't have, this is a Cricut one. You don't have to buy a Cricut brand. You can buy a Walmart brand for a dollar. I think they're $1.97 for an X-Acto knife. So just get what works best for you. This is what this rim looks like prior. Can you see all the sharp, chunky, chunky up there, okay? Don't have too much on the inside. I did pretty good with this one, but you can get it off on the inside and I can show you how to do that later. But you can, you can definitely see the lip. So all I do is I pick a place. I do it at an angle, okay? Don't want to do it over my cup so it'll make a mess. But I do it at an angle or a tilt and I come around this cup in little spurts. Don't try and do it in big spurts because you'll cut yourself. Yep, that's my husband. So, I come around the cup, especially with this chunky. Sometimes you may have to, like, cut. Once I get around it, I'm going to show you how quick it is. It doesn't take long. You see the big pieces coming off? Okay. Go all the way around the cup. Get the top part. The top part, to me, is the fun part. Hey, baby. Hey. I'll be there in five minutes. All right. So, I'm coming around the lip. <laughs> My dogs go crazy when he gets home. But this is what I'm saying, guys. You have got to clean the rim of your cup before you do your last coat of epoxy. Reason being, and I'm going to show you exactly why. And somebody's going to say she's going to cut her finger off. And I'm going to probably say you're probably right. This is a really thick... My cat's mad because she didn't get to go out there and see him. So this is done all the way around except right here. I got a little piece. And right here. So this cup... Oh, I missed one spot here too, guys. See, I got the talking and missed it. Let me show you. And then I'm going to show you what else I do before I get ready to put it on for its final turn. So, there's the top. I do have a little something right there. Hold on, TT. Vincent! Get TT. She's crying for you. Come on, buddy. <laughs> So the top is clean, okay? Now, on the edges, if you can see it, I still have a lot of rough spots. But when I cleaned it here, what I have done is opened the seal up. Can you see down in there where I have stainless steel? And then you see, I can see it. You see purple paint. So I have broken the seal. The reason I clean before I do my last coat is when I do my last coat, I'm going to bring it over top. Okay? Am I going to get a little epoxy up here? Yes. But you're just going to chip that away and not break your seal. If you get water underneath your epoxy, all this is going to peel off. might not all peel off as well because you've prepped your cup, but it is going to make a mess. So make sure you do it before your last coat of epoxy, okay? I just found you always coming an hour late. You look good. I hope your surgery it did go good. Thank you, Miss Kennedy. I appreciate you. All right, so we're going to take some sandpaper. This is the last thing I do to this cup before I do my... This is actually going to have a name on it, and I know she's on here. I saw her a while ago. And all I'm going to say is her first name, but Miss Rose, this is your cup. It is coming to you. 
but I got to put your decal on it, okay? But this, um, I'm going to sand the edges at the top going downward towards the mouth to give it a bend. When you put a cup in your mouth, most people use a lid and a straw nowadays. Some people don't. My mother despises a lid and a straw. Don't ask me why. She's 72. She's quirky. And she's got dementia, but that's her. She just doesn't drink out of a lid and a straw. So if somebody puts this to their lips, you don't want this to be rough at all. Nine times out of ten, your person's never going to put it to their lips. But make your cup smooth. If the top part and the middle part and the bottom part of your cup is smooth, make the whole cup smooth. So I'm just feeling to make sure that it feels really nice in case somebody wants to put this against their mouth. Okay? And when I get my final coat on here, that's the way it's going to feel. So I'm just feeling to make sure I don't have any big chunky pieces anywhere that are sticking out. And also that it's smooth down to the rim of the cup because of the angle that I cut it at. You'd be surprised the difference this makes in a cup. I don't know how many of y'all have gotten a cup and you're like, really? They couldn't spend that extra couple. <laughs> they couldn't spend that extra couple minutes on the rim. Please, Lord Jesus, help me. Anyway, all right. So this cup, after I clean it with alcohol, now you see how much I got because I got the dust down in there. But this is a whole lot smoother, guys. Is the seal broken? Yes. Am I going to seal it back? Yes. As soon as I put her vinyl on here, this is super, super rough where I got that chunky. I'll spend some time on that here in just a little bit. I'll do a wet sand on that and get that smoother before I do my final coat because that chunky won't settle down enough. Okay? So that's how you would clean your rim. Now, if anybody has any questions after this tutorial or you asked a bunch of questions and I missed it, okay, please send me a message. I try to get back to you within an hour. If it's during the day, just remember I have physical therapy and I'm still trying to keep grandbabies. Oh, y'all pray for me. And um, I do try and catch a cat nap every once in a while because after physical therapy, I cannot stand anybody, including myself. Um, he works me a little too hard. He's a little old young boy. He don't understand. I'm 51 and don't care but you hurting me. <laughs> anyway, I will try and get back to you. I promise. It might be, it'll be that day, but it might be later on that day. Okay. I appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with me. I hope, I, I know some of this was repetitive for some of you and I appreciate y'all hanging out. We are going to do some new stuff, but I have to build up a little bit more tolerance to sit in this chair a little longer. Okay. Thank you for joining me. Thank all the vendors who I saw come on. LaDonna, thank you for your time. Joy, Everybody that came on and watched, I appreciate all y'all. Keep in mind, guys, look, life is not simple right now. It's not. This COVID thing's going on. The election's going on. I don't know how much more people can take. It's obvious because people are riding in the streets. But this is the thing. I don't like to push any views on anybody. All I'm saying is if you see somebody who looks like they've had a bad day because they've got this thing going on, walk up to them and say, you look nice today. They are going to look at you like you have lost your mind. I promise you. But you know, sometimes that's all it takes to make somebody's day. Or walk up to them if you're afraid of COVID, give them an elbow bump or a fist bump. And just say, have a good day. You'd be surprised. Just those, just those few words. Somebody's going to go, I don't know. Though. What is wrong with that crazy woman? She's going around fist bumping everybody. Talking about, have a crazy day. But they're going to think about it later. They're going to be like, that's the nicest thing that happened to me today. So just keep that in mind. Love somebody. Even if they don't love you, just try and love them back. Lord, see through their flaws, okay? And thank you for tolerating mine. Bye, y'all. Have a good night. See you later.